Wow, that all that clapping was way too good for what I'm about to do. Uh, you guys are gonna regret that later. Um, okay, so I'm gonna perform comedy, which is obviously what she just said, but I'm repeating it. So, so um, I don't really understand how sports work, and I don't know if you could tell from the everything about me, but I'm like the least athletic person on earth. I mean, like. Sports look easy enough for me to watch. Like when I'm watching someone play basketball, and I need, and I see them walking up the court and running and dribbling the ball, throwing it in the hoop. It literally, literally looks like so easy to me. And then when I actually do that, like, have you ever played Sims 4? I look like one of those glitch, like those characters that glitch out. Yeah, like like that. And um, you know. The main reason I don't really understand sports is because they're like so different from each other, especially like the word differences between football and baseball. Because in football, it's like you play in a stadium, right? And in baseball, you play in a park. Well, in football, you wear a helmet, but in baseball, you wear a cap. Which, those are like exact opposites of each other. But wait, there's more. In uh, football, you get a penalty. And in uh, baseball, you get an error. Whoops. And I looked up the exact definition of football in. Uh, I looked up the exact definition of penalty, and it usually means a punishment for committing a crime, like a life sentence. But in baseball, you get an error, which apparently just means a mistake. Wow. Totally different. It's like. I think it's like fo baseball is the same as football, just way less extreme. And I know I said I don't know a lot about sports, but I do know a lot about music. And uh, I really enjoy Billy Joel, right? Yeah. He's awesome, right? I just don't get why he likes to call himself the piano man. He looks nothing like a piano. Definitely not my best joke. Possibly my worst. But, uh, so, um, my parents are kind of like bad at being parents. It's like my mom will take any adult's word over mine. Like once, once, uh, well, this didn't really happen. I'm just going to give an example. Like, so my parents, they believe that they just, like, not, they believe any adult's word is more accurate than mine, which may be true, but that still doesn't make it right. I mean, not just adults who are figures of authority either, like police officers or teachers. It's more like, like any homeless person or cuckoo on the street is more truthful than me. Like, I could just be like, it's like some random guy could be knocking on my mom's door and she'd answer and they'd, oh, was that too loud? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Should I just shout, should I, should I get rid of the microphone and shout for a while? Okay. So, this, uh, yeah, some random, guy could, some random guy could be knocking on my door. My mom would answer it. And they go, hey, hey, you're so super good a toilet seat to my head in my sleep. And then I'd be there like, hey, he asked me to, right? He, he said he couldn't afford any face piercing, so I found the closest thing I could find and just super glued it to his face. Is that such a crime? I thought I was doing something nice. My mom would be like, no excuses, Amen, no excuses. You know, because that's how all parents talk to their teenage kids nowadays. Now, my father, on the other hand, if he found out I did something bad at school, he punished me, which might sound normal enough, but he punished me like physically, like, like psychologically rather than physically. Like he uses words as punishment. Like, I remember once I hit someone at school, and don't worry, they only got a little hurt. It was like a play hit, but um, my father, he found that out, and he was like, Amen. I'm the fact that you have done this disgusts me." I'm not just angry at you, I'm disappointed. And I'm just, I'm not gonna punish you though. The fact that I don't love you as much should be enough of a punishment for you. Yeah, I know, serious. And uh, yeah, those words were like really bad. They, those words really hurt me, but it's fine because I, I think my dad still loves me, at least I hope. But uh, anyway, uh, so when, but when both parents took action, it's like you know something bad's about to go around. Just, just picture Godzilla storming into Tokyo, and that's what it was like. Uh, so, um, 
My mom has been obsessed with reading the news lately. I mean, how could you? The news is all there is to read really lately, but my mom, uh, she sometimes, she's more obsessed with telling us what goes on on the news rather than reading it in her head. Like once, she would, she, I was watching Big Mouth with my family, right? Because that's what every kid wants to watch with the family nowadays. But she walks into the room and goes, the, the big word possible from the Sesame Street was stolen. And I go, we'd all go, why is it supposed to matter to us? But I would be that idiot in the back just going, and uh, that must have been a really big burden for the people over at Sesame Street. Yeah, I know. Really bad. And, uh, so, and she would say ridiculous stuff like that, and then later she would go say the most disturbing news stories they've ever heard, like, what about a, a dog who attacked a child? And there would be, like, more awkward silence, because I don't have a joke for that. But, uh, so there was one time, this is the most memorable time she ever told me something that went on in the news. She, I was sound asleep in my bed, right? She walks in my room, turns on a light, pushes me like that, like that. And then um, she wakes me up and she stands over my bed and goes, I just heard that a man in Florida's wife was murdered with no evidence of who did it. Like I had something to do with it. <laughs> and then I go, I go, hey lady, I have been here all night. My, I'm still in my pajamas, feel the bed, it's warm. <laughs> Luckily she believed me since I'm nowhere, since like I'm nowhere near Florida and I'm only, and I'm only 16 and I'm not smart enough to get away with murder. Well, you know, at least I don't think I am. <laughs> so, anyway, that was basically it. And um, remember, just if you take anything away from this, my name's Eamon Erdman, and every time you pray at night, all those prayers go to me, because my name's Eamon, right? You say Eamon at the end of the prayer, everyone knows that. So.